I think, I think that we as DJs have got to get out of these routines. We have got to get out of our routine. Um, we have a bad habit, a very bad habit of playing, of always playing the safe songs. We just do. You know why we play the safe songs? Because we know the safe songs will work. We know the safe songs are going to get a certain type of reaction. We know how to play it, how long to play it, what point to come in on it. We love the safe songs. We love to just, you know, play the stuff that's going to happen every single time. And I'm not knocking anybody who who does that. What I'm concerned with is that if I'm playing the safe songs, and John's playing the safe songs and uh, Ricky is playing the safe songs and we all playing the same thing and his price is a hundred dollars and I mean less than yours and his price is two hundred dollars less than yours. Why would somebody pick me? Why would somebody pick me? If we all play the same thing, I don't separate myself from them. That's the kind of stuff that that the reason why I say that we need to stop playing so many safe songs. If you're going to play them, mix them with a trial song. Mix, mix, throw something in there that you know goes along with the BPMs that you're currently at and just try it. Just try it. Or find a way to be able to mix these songs to almost create a whole different version of the songs. Like the two gig laws that I have coming out over the next two weeks, both have where I have tried to mix up songs and I've thrown in songs that I've just come across just by listening to, to old stuff that I, you know, I haven't picked up and stuff in a while and throwing it out there and just seeing what happens. Just seeing what happens. If they don't like it, just be ready to mix out to a safe song, but don't say, Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to play another trial song just because that one bombed. You've got to test it because what bombed at this gig may not bomb at this gig. You know, I had a, a wedding it's, I think it'll be the second gig log where I literally, it, it, it didn't matter what I played. You know, I, I played everything and I brought, I brought it all to them. You, I mean, when you see this one, you, you're going to see that I just gave them just a, just a crap ton of music all at once. And they just ate it up. So I found a few more songs that work, but it, the only way to do that, is by trial and error. You've got to toss it out there and see if it would work. You've got to, you've got to bring people's nostalgia back. You know, um, people, I don't know about you guys, but when you hear something that you heard from your childhood, it immediately takes you back to that moment. And usually music takes you back to a happy moment that if you're not listening to a sad song. So if you listen to something that you and your boys or you and your girls used to ride to, or you and that girlfriend from back then used to ride to, and y'all used to sing and head bob and stuff. Most of the time, those songs are going to work at your gigs. Let's just put it out there. Most of the time, those are going to work. Like, I don't hear a lot of DJs playing. I'm just going to give you an example here, okay? I don't hear a lot of DJs playing Kelly Rowland and Nelly Dilemma. When I look at these gig logs, I don't see a lot of people playing that. I've reincorporated that that song back in, and you can see girl, you can see girls all the time singing that song. But I would, you know, we we we're so safe with playing the Bruno Mars and the the Whitney Houston's and the Cindy Loppers and the the uh, the the Little John Get Low, and I mean. When somebody says we love 2000s hip hop, man, there is so much good 2000s hip hop. But I bet you nobody out there will play Rick Ross. 
Rick Ross got some bangers that you can play and stuff at weddings. I tried that out. You'll see that on the gig law. I tried that out. Went over well. That's early 2000s, but I bet you won't play that. Because you, you, we, we are scared to do something different. Let's just always, let's not rock the boat. Let's just always go with what's always worked. Because we're just here to collect the check. And then we're ready to get, you know, it's just, we get, we kind of get in that groove. And, and look, I'm guilty of it. I'm not here to say that all my music and stuff has not been the same. Like, if you go back to early gig logs, I could tell you that I used to take one folder I used to copy that sucker, and then I used to paste it right in these people's folder. <laughs> I mean, it's like they haven't heard me play that music. You guys may have, but they haven't. So when I used to get comments and stuff, hey, man, you don't, you don't be switching it up and stuff like that? I'm like, nah, this is what works. I'm guilty of it. I'm very, very much so guilty of it. But since, probably since about 2018, I have I have truly switched it up. I give you something different. I give you something, a different version. I give you more music. I give you trial and error. I mean, you guys see my flaws and stuff on these videos. I don't just put out a gig law that just gets everybody just jumping and dancing and having a crazy time because I just want to showcase how crazy it is all the time because it's not crazy all the time. This past weekend, I'm not going to say it was a flop, but it wasn't crazy. I just don't have enough footage to show you guys dancing unless you guys want to see slides. This weekend that's coming up right here, her guest count is 65 people. 65. Their ages are... I think late thirties and early forties. You probably not going to get a whole lot of dance footage off of that. But I can tell you one thing, I'm going to give it my all and I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to play some stuff that I haven't played. And we're going to try to see if we can give these guys more. You know, one of the crates that I have that I absolutely love um, that I do play every wedding. It's 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 almost like my test crate. It's like my opening dance set. That's what it says. It says opening dance set. And I throw a lot of music in there that's like classic music because I, I really like to test classic music. So I do a lot of, I put a lot of songs in there and I'm just like, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall because older people, at least they will give me, give it an opportunity. They'll hear it. And it's either, it's either nostalgic to them and like, Oh yeah. Or it's like, Oh no, I don't like that song, but that's how you find the, how will I knows instead of, I want to dance with somebody. That's how you know, how will I know will work because you throw it out there and women sing that and you cater more to the women first because the men are less likely to already be out on the dance floor. First people usually hit the dance floor is a woman or women. That's the first people usually hit. Who are they taking out there with them? Their boyfriend, their husband, whoever has come with them or their girlfriend with a drink in their hand. Got to cater to women and stuff first. Maybe we'll talk about that on another show. But leave me a comment and stuff down below. I'm just ranting and stuff now and I don't want to rant because I want to give you guys opportunity and stuff to talk to. So leave me a comment and stuff down below. Let me know what you guys think about that. It just came across because I want all of us to be successful and I want all of us to be different. I don't want any of us to be the same. I don't want to be able to send my guy Mike out to an event and he be a carbon copy of me. No, I want us to be two separate people so that if they get Mike, they, they're getting one show. And if they get me, they're getting another show. Or if they're getting this DJ, it's another show. But I can tell you right now, there are companies who, when they train, they're like, you need to play this list. Here's the list of songs. You could take them, put this on your list. Don't deviate from this list and you should be good. And they're playing that every week. Companies, I'm telling you, companies are doing that to new DJs. And some of the old DJs still playing the same stuff, same stuff that they were playing 10, 15 years ago. We just got to switch it up. Got to.